Life's just too precious and short just to throw it all away. And he'd be right. We love you more than anything you have to know that. You know, a very wise young woman made us do this from her hospital bed once. We don't want to hurt anyone. You have to know that. I don't know what to say to you. You don't have to say anything, Kirst. We know this is awkward. But your mum and I... We just had to be together. I mean, anything else would have been a lie to ourselves, to you kids. And to Beth. Anything at all I can do, just give us a hoy, eh? this morning. Hey, um, about mum and dad. I just forget about no, it. No, I can't forget it. They're my parents, Scott. I can't just ignore the fact that they exist. I know that. Look, I'm sorry this is hard for you. You know, I wished I could have done the big brave thing today, you know, for you. But I couldn't. I'm standing there watching this family reunion and all I can think about is my mum sitting at home on her own. Are we going to be okay? You. I love you too, yeah, but this this thing with your family, it's not going to go away. Just promise me that we're solid, okay? Because if we are, then we can get through anything. Where are you going? I just need some fresh air. I really want to hate them. And when they're not around, I can kind of make myself believe that I do. They just, they love each other, you know? They love each other and... I mean, you know, as much as I don't like how it happened, they want to be together. Can you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can. You know, if we'd listen to people tell us what was right and what was wrong, well, we wouldn't be where we are now. Being in that house the other night, I know where I went up to Sarah. We get so caught up on all these little hang ups and stuff. And none of it matters. There's bad blood between me and your dad. It doesn't matter. That is today's us. You know this. Yeah. So you do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna stop you, I'm not gonna cause any trouble. I promise. You mean that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that.
I was proud of you today. What you did for the family. Your life's too short for those kind of arguments. You're gonna be okay. You know that, don't you? As long as you're here with me. It was beautiful. It's exactly what Noel would have liked. Anyway, I, I was looking around at everyone there, all these friends and Hayley. I just started thinking about Sarah. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's all over, but I just wondered who was at her funeral saying goodbye to her. Because in the end, it's your family and friends that really matter, isn't it? Having the people who love you say goodbye. We all deserve that. Even Sarah Lewis. Actually, I feel sorry for her. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to hear all this. Peter, I need you to wake up. I have to understand what you meant. Hi. Um, Good day. I need to speak to both of you, actually. Yeah? Shelley and I are staying at the Sands and we'd like to see Max. Maximus was upset enough when you finally spoke to him on the telephone. I don't think it's a good idea. Colleen, please don't make this any harder than it has to be. I'll speak to him when I get home. So, what can I do for you? Well, I understand there was a vote taken on the lease of the kiosk. That's right. In my absence. Well, you can't expect the town to grind to a halt just because you bolt. And you can't expect me to sit down and accept a decision that I should have had a say in. Well, nobody thought it was relevant. It's not like you're going to be around to run the joint. Who said? You've got to be kidding. Look, we both know why the vote went the way it did. It wasn't about the kiosk, it was a popularity contest, and right now my name is Mud around here. If that's right, and I'm not saying it is, what makes you think the vote would be any different the second time round? Because I'm entitled to state my case. I don't know. It's not a request. Either you get on the blower and you organise a re-meeting, or I'll get on the phone and I'll speak to my solicitor. It's your choice. So, how is he? Well, there's no change. I mean, it's still early days. How long will it be, you know, when will he wake up? These things are pretty difficult to predict. I mean, he could wake up tomorrow or next week or a month. I've made contact with his family, so his brother's making arrangements to get down here so he'd be off the hook. Sorry? Well, not what you like. I mean, you've been here every day because you can't stand the idea of him being alone. That is why you're here, isn't it? I want to be here. I want to talk to him when he wakes up. I need to know if what he said that night was true. Leah. I'm... I know we've been through this and I know how you feel, but you didn't hear him, Flynn. He suffered a severe head injury. I understand that. And the logical size says it's impossible and he can't be alive. But there was something about the way he said it. <sighs> I don't know. And that's why I need him to wake up. I need to know what he meant or if he was confused or... Well, listen, driving yourself nuts is not going to speed up anything here, so why don't you go home and take a break? I can't. Well, I'll be here. I'll let you know if anything changes. I was worried about you. How's Hayley? She's been in her room since you left. I just left her alone. I figured that when someone's got something on their mind, you should just, you shouldn't push them. I just needed to do some thinking, you know? Yeah, so did I. Look, I don't want this thing between Mum, Dad and Beth to get between us. Neither do I. You just have to figure a way to juggle both sides, you know? We'll work it out. We'll have to, because being with you is too important to me. You know, I was doing some thinking about the other night with Sarah. Thinking about everything haley has been through in the last couple of days. Could have been you saying goodbye to me out there today. Or me saying goodbye to you. 
Kind of puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I don't want to waste another day thinking about other people's problems or whether we're doing the right thing, you know, or any of the thousand other things that come into our heads. Will you marry me? sure about anything in my whole life. We've had enough false starts to last a lifetime, all right? This is meant to be, Dan. Yes. Yes, of course I'm hurting you. Of course I'm hurting you. smiling at? Scott just proposed to Danny. Finally. Now they can be as happy as we are. There's more Home and Away cliffhangers coming up and I hope you got a strong pair of nails cause there is tension glow as Belle finds out the identity of her mum next. I will always-